everyone. So another big topic this week that we are talking about are balanced and unbalanced forces. And to know if forces are balanced or unbalanced, we have to know how to calculate net force. So if you did your reading, you'll know that a balanced force has a net force equal to zero. But unbalanced forces do not have net forces equal to zero. So unbalanced forces have a net force that is either positive or negative. When we have balanced forces and that net force is zero, this means that we're not going to have any change in speed or motion or direction. Unbalanced forces, however, when we have this net force that is positive or negative, it's going to affect the motion of an object by changing it. So let's look at what this can look like. So one important definition to know is that net force equals the total forces acting on an object or in a system. You might have heard that word system this week in one of the videos that you watched. So net force is going to be that total amount of forces acting on something. For example, if I had sitting on the floor a box. And I know that this box weighs 30 kilograms. We can use arrows to draw the forces acting on this box. If this box is just sitting here, not moving, that means we have balanced forces. Its motion isn't changing. But let's evaluate what forces are at play here. So we know there's a force of gravity pulling down on the box as the earth pulls the box towards it. However, we know that forces come in equal and opposite pairs. So that gravitational force is going to have an opposite arrow and this is called the normal force. Because these two arrows are equal and opposite, they cancel each other out and give us that net force equal to zero, meaning that our forces are balanced and the motion of the box is not changing. But what happens if I come along and decide I'm going to push this box. Now I'm going to exert a force on this box to the right. If I can push on this box hard enough, I'm going to be able to move this box to the right. So my force is going to be positive in the direction to the right. However, we also know that where the box is resting on the floor and those two surfaces actually rub together, we're going to have some friction. So we can have another arrow coming this way, but this arrow is going to be our friction arrow. 
However, if I can exert a bigger force to the right than friction exerts to the left, I know that this arrow is bigger than this one and the box is going to move to the right. So when you have one arrow that is not canceled out by another arrow or one force that is bigger than another force so they do not cancel each other out, this is called unbalanced forces. And we're going to see a change in motion. Let's look at a few basic examples though of how to calculate net force. In this example, we have two forces in the system. We have 25 newtons of force going to the left, and we have 15 newtons of force going to the right. So what part of these cancel each other out? So we can look at this using negative numbers and positive numbers. We can say that going to the right is positive, and moving to the left is negative. So let's assign negative and positive numbers to our forces based off of the directions that they're moving. So we said going to the right is positive, so we have plus 15 newtons, and going to the left is negative, so we have minus 25 newtons. We also said that net force equals the total forces. So we know that this word total means we have to add them together. So we are going to add them. If we add negative 25 newtons plus a positive 15 newtons, what is our net force? Take a minute, pause the video and think about it. All right, were you able to solve this equation? We can say that our net force is going to be equal to negative 10 newtons because we have negative 25 plus 15 to the right is going to equal negative 10. So what does negative 10 look like? What negative 10 newtons is going to look like in this situation is going to be our object. For this, let's say we have a box moving to the left with 10 newtons of force. For our next example, let's think about it as a game of tug of war. So we have two friends both pulling on this rope. So friend here is pulling to the right and this friend here is pulling to the left. As you can see though, this friend is much bigger and stronger than this friend. So we're going to say that he is pulling with a force to the right of 30 newtons. Our friend over here on the left, however, is pulling to the left with a force of 10 newtons. So which direction is this rope going to move? Is it going to move to the left or to the right? Can you evaluate which ones are going to be positive numbers and which ones are going to be negative based off the direction of the force? All right, were you able to say that this 10 is gonna be negative because it's moving to the left and this 30 is positive because it's moving to the right? Take a minute and see if you can find the net force on this rope. Remember, that's the total forces. We have negative 10 and 30. We're gonna add them acting on the object or the rope. Pause the video and see if you can solve this problem. All right, 
Were you able to solve this problem? Were you able to say that the net force is going to equal negative 10 newtons plus let's move this a positive 30 newtons and that that is going to leave us with 20 newtons so we see that this is a positive number. Again, we know that since this doesn't equal zero, this is an unbalanced force. But what does this positive number tell us? Is it moving to the left or to the right? Did you say right? Because right is the right direction. So we know that negatives are moving left and positives move to the right. So when we have this unbalanced force of 20 positive Newtons, we're going to pull that rope to the right. For our final example on balanced and unbalanced forces, we're going to look at two friends who are moving a table. So our friend on the left is pushing the table with 20 newtons of force to the right. Our friend here on the right is pulling the table with 15 newtons of force to the right. Can you solve what the net force is being applied to this table? What is the net force the two friends are applying to the table? Pause the video and see if you can solve this equation. All right, were you able to solve this equation? Were you able to see that we have 20 newtons, which are positive, moving to the right, and 15 moving to the right as well. So we can say that, you guys piece here, let's go here. Net force equals plus 20 newtons plus a positive 15 newtons which is going to equal 35 newtons. This 35 newtons is positive, which means we have unbalanced forces working on this table, and we're going to change its motion. Since it's positive, we know that we're moving to the right. So the table is going to move to the right with 35 newtons of force. I hope this helped, and if you guys still have questions about net force, balance, and unbalanced forces, try to make up some of your own problems. Try to see if you can figure out some of the differences on what happens when you have negative numbers in different places and negative forces in different spots on an object. See what you can figure out. I know you guys are all very capable of doing net force, and I fully believe in you. Bye, guys.